I want to show you guys a really rare game. Deco, Data East Company, made this dedicated unit back in 1980 as a system. They called it their Deco cassette system. I'm going to show you. It's just fascinating. I'm going to tell you a quick history though. This specific machine was purchased brand new for an arc, uh, a small little arcade in a motel of a Wildwood uh, hotel down in New Jersey on the shore. Years ago, I knew the lady and we used to have other games there, but she bought this brand new and she paid like 5,000 bucks for it. Somebody went in there and sold her a bill of goods and she paid 5,000, but they gave her two games with it, Burger Time and Bump and Jump. And she could change the games at any time and oh, it was so easy and it must have been because even this woman who was, you know, not, not a whole a lot together could easily change it and clean the heads. That was the, let me show you. This is what makes this so unique. It was converted to a game called The Deep. This is the original foreign coin door that was just awful. But uh, we took the latch off on the inside, so this opens up. Look at this. The person who did the conversion kit, they actually charged her $1,500 to put The Deep into this game. Left, didn't even take the old board out. This is the Deco system. This is the game pack. You change the game pack, and look at this, a little cassette, a micro cassette, and it says right on it, Burger Time. It's the future. Just think, turn your game on, the cassette loads the program in, and in just five short minutes, you're playing Burger Time. It took five minutes for this cassette which had the ROM information to load into this. What a mess. And if somebody unplugs the machine for even a second, ugh, you have to wait again for it to load. That was the downside to this lovely system. Oh boy, am I gonna be able to get it back in there we go. Anyway, we're selling this game as is to somebody who is a collector of the rare and obscure, and I think he's gonna be thrilled with this. Look, here's the deep. A JAMA board that this company installed right on the side, put four screws in a plug, wired up a brand new harness, they left the old harness still in here, punched a few new buttons in the panel, they had to actually put a bunch in. Uh, and you know, the monitor doesn't work on this, you can actually hear the fan working. I've never seen the game work, you know this has been in my warehouse for 20 years, I've been moving it from one place to another. I've always kept it. I, I always said, well, one day I'm going to fix it. But we can hear it playing. Can't see it. Frank, come on in the back. Let's look. The, the game is a nice, it does, it's a small footprint, too. This daddy's cabinet. Here we are, Tokyo, Japan. Right from, and this system, they were selling to motel operators, I suppose. Whoever had money, the original television. This is the monitor that's similar to um, monitors in where Monaco GP. Uh, it was a dependable monitor, but it, it took a dump uh, 20 years ago, and it's been that way since. God, look at, look at the rust on the fan. The fan's still running. The old 5-volt power supply, but the guy cut all the wires off here. I guess that went there. But the logic board looks good, super clean. Monitor, I'm sure, is fixable. And these old deco boards have got to be worth something. So I think this customer who's getting this machine is going to be pretty darn happy because he's buying it cheap. We're in the Yellow Pages under Amusements.